So this is just a really quick one on how to install Python modules and get them working inside Touch Designer. So I have this Python module here called Speech Recognition 3.6.5 that I really want to install and get working with Python. And I also want to embed that inside Touch Designer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install it on a mirrored version of Python. I'm going to open Terminal. And I know that Touch Designer is currently running Python 3.5.2, I think it is. So I'm going to install speech recognition on Python 3.5 and just make sure it works. So I'm going to tell pip to install to version 3.5 of Python, install speech recognition. I'm just presuming that you have some familiar some familiarity with Python and installing modules, so I'm not going to go into detail of pip and getting Python installed on your computer. But all you really need to do is go to python dot is it org? Yes, python dot org and install the relevant mirror version of Python, which in this case is three point five. So I'm going to do pip 3.5 install speech recognition and we're going to see terminal doing its thing here installing version 3.6.5. And once that's done, uh, we can actually exit terminal. One thing that's recommended by touch designer is to make sure that the mirrored version works. So I'm going to open Python 3.5 and then I'm going to import speech recognition no module name speech recognition that's speech underscore I think let's have a quick look there we go it's speech underscore recognition and the fact that we don't get any errors there means that it's probably successfully imported uh, there are a few examples built into this page here and all, most Python modules actually come with examples now so I would go on and test them. I also know that this requires a few extra modules if you want to use microphones and stuff but we'll get into that in a minute. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to terminate uh, my terminal window and then I'm going to bring over Touch Designer. Now importing, importing modules is super simple in touch design. I prefer to do it on a per network basis just so I don't get confused and always have touch designer accessing uh, Python modules and stuff. So what we need to do is tell touch designer to go in and look at that mirrored version of Python, in this case 3.5, and find all the packages that we've installed. They are installed somewhere in Let's have a quick look. If we go to my computer, I'm pretty sure it's Macintosh. Users, me. Uh, no, it's library, excuse me. Library frameworks, Python frameworks, and then versions 3.5. Uh, and then we go into lib. Python 3.5 and there should be one in here called site packages if my memory has served me correctly. Yes, yeah, so in here we should have all the stuff that we've just installed. Speech recognition is down here. To import that into Touch Designer, we just need to tell Touch Designer to go and look at it. So we use a special script that you can find on Touch Designer's website. If we go to the wiki, Here we go, so in the introduction to Python tutorials, uh, on the wiki there is importing modules reference and it basically just tells us how to import modules that are included with Touch Designer's build or how to reference external file paths within your system and that's what we're going to do. So I'm just going to get rid of that and in here I'm going to edit the text board. We are going to import SYS, our system, which is a Python module included with Touch Touch Designer. I'm going to make a variable called my path and make this variable that really long one I just told you about. So it's going to be essentially, if we get the info, 
it is going to be this here. So it's going to be my HD library frameworks, Python frameworks, version 3.5 lib Python forward slash site dash packages. But we don't need to refer to ourselves as a user because we're already logged in. So we can just do forward slash library, Ooh, no caps lock, library frameworks. Python, Python dot framework forward slash versions forward slash 3.5 forward slash lib forward slash Python 3.5 forward slash lib uh, forward slash site dash packages. end the speech and then using the system module it has a command called system.path.append my path and all it's basically saying is that go into the system file and append my path as something in the search parameters for when python starts we're going to nicely wrap that in that if my path not in sys.path Hold on, do something. So we're importing the system module, setting a variable that is the path we want to include. If my path isn't in the system path already, then add it. So with all things going well, we run that script. We don't get any errors. And then we should be able to just import a module like we would. So something like uh, import math. math import math is already included with touch designer so it will work and not give us any errors but now we've included that external site package anything that i've downloaded for python 3.5 in the mirror version should now be accessible to touch designer should i say should as there is some caveats where it needs extra externals that aren't sometimes included in the original download that your python mirror version can access so let's check So I run it, I don't get any errors. So I'm gonna clear that, run it again, and there we can see that speech recognition is now being loaded and accessed, or is now accessible within Touch Designer to do whatever you'd like. So for example, speech recognition needs Pi Audio if you want to use a microphone in the code, or if you want to reference microphones in the code, and Pi Audio needs Port Audio as a, an external as well. So there's a lot of caveats, but now you could access speech recognition's library within the program. But this was just a super quick tutorial on how to actually download a Python module and install it into Touch Designer.